Now, let's try this, the brute force and simple way first. Put a hand on each one of these and see if you can pull that out. Because if you can, then we're golden, but that thing's going to weigh 100 pounds. Easy. It's sitting on this. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's not polite about it at all. <coughs> Eric, Eric, come here, come here. Uh, I can lever it up if you can pull it out. Yeah, I'm looking for something to run through it real quick. Through it? Yeah, through it. What are you thinking? Oh, that's, you're going to hurt. Oh, okay. That's asking for pain. That's going to slip and you're going to get hurt. Um, yeah. Uh, prepper. Yeah, try prepper. See if that'll work. Prepper for that? Yeah. Oh, prepper. Oh, okay, and the handle won't, so you'll be all right. Ready? One. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Oh. Ah. Lift up. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've had knuckles to the count today. All right. Uh, oh, here, put it on the scoreboard. That's another one. <laughs> we had the other two to the scoreboard, too? Huh? We had the other two to the scoreboard, too? Yeah, yeah, you're at, you're at three, I think. Um, what can we use to get this? I have an idea. Yeah. <sighs> Give me a second. I'll be right back. You get the shirt. I wore this especially for his uh, love of this pry bar here. It's all fun and games until somebody loses a nut. Or a knuckle. <laughs> all right. I have a bit of chain. Okay. It's, it's light duty chain, but it's stronger than that is. And, and a carabiner? And a carabiner that won't fit. This one might. No, that won't fit either. But the chain. The chain if, should slip through the, the hole. The chain will go through the hole. And it will. Alright. Okay. There. Thread the other side through that hole. Okay. And pass it over here. And I'll lock the two pieces of chain together with the beaners. There. Now pull back on your chain. Yeah, yeah. Yanking on it won't do you any good. Okay, there you go. Now, there's a good, safe, big handle. Ah! It's still hung up on something. Yeah, I'm working on it. You gotta not just pull forward, you gotta pull up. Yeah. This this is your vector here. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Right where the other arm is. <clears throat> it went in, Zach, it'll come out. Alright, hang on a second. Gunter mocks you. <laughs> Gunter can list never mind. What's happening is we're rocking against the top here. Oh, we're rocking. Go out the other way. Possibly. We'd have to wedge that up higher. How high can that go? I don't know. Well, in theory, it can flip right over. Well, in theory. Yeah. Lift it. It's not going to move with this in the way. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, Mikey, come on in here. I might be able to get a pin through here at this level. And well, that hang on, we still got, what, what the heck is that thing back there? Don't worry, we'll get to oh, that we can next. still go to the left anyway. Yeah. Mikey, lift that out of the way. Zach, lift this up. Go. All right, come up, come up, come up. You, you need to come up. That's as up as you get. Bumper. That. There's... Sit tight. Just hold it there a second. I'll work as fast as I can. Oh, dude, this is worse than a negative curl. Just think of the muscle you're building right now, though. Chicks dig that kind of thing, I hear. <laughs> Just hold it together for a second. Mikey? Yeah? 
pull, pull that out the other side. Okay. Now, Mikey, set yours down. Okay. Zach, just sit there and look pretty. Are you feeling pretty? Abs are starting to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Set down. <sighs> now, this oh. is holding that up by the power and might of our little manly chain there. Okay. Mm. I feel pretty now. Yeah, well, the downside is I don't trust this any further than I can throw it. That, that chain is all that's holding. Oh, that's not that heavy. Yeah, that's really not bad at all. Oh, I've also got a brace up here. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like it weighs 200 pounds. It's just awkward in the position. Yeah, it's, it's okay. All right, now we have to bring that out, but we have to push, not pull. So I still think it's push a better approach. that forward this way, using crowbars and whatnot. I'm going to see if I can get something to help. Let me see something here. Can you? Uh, what you want? I want this wrapped around it somewhere. That'll work good. What in the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get this up under. You know how that works out for you. You feel better now? Can you get it under it? Yeah, I ain't sticking my hand under there. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole lifetime spent healing from various stupid things like that. But what I can do is, is lever that. It might be easier to come out the back if we walk it out like this. If we can. All right. You got to get it to hook left now. Where are we going? Oh, towards me? Yep. All right. You know what I'm fearing is about to happen. What? We're going to get this right over the hole and it's going to drop right back into place. No, no, no. That, that, that kind of thing never happens. This is television, don't you know? It just works perfectly the first time. <laughs> Did you ever watch TV? Do you know how many harebrained, dumbass ideas MacGyver did that just always work perfectly the first time? Uh, that's us. We're on TV now, so we're cool. Huh, good idea. Hey, uh, you got a box of paper clips, uh, two matches. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we really need. Richard Dean Anderson. <laughs> Okay, I feel a little bit better with that second sling on there. Now, uh, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come okay. here. Yeah. What you want? I got an idea, which I know is your, your favorite thing to hear. <laughs> Lately, not so much. Here, Zach, I got an idea. You probably won't believe. Isn't that much. how you wrote me into this whole thing? To begin yeah, with? pretty much. Yeah. Hey, come here. I got an idea. I'm filming something. Yeah, come here. I'm making a TV show. Pull. Like a big dog. Like a manly man. Pull. Hey, Zach. Yeah. Motor's out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, let's go back one of us in the Yeah. Watch, watch your toe. Ready? Yeah. Go. Motor's out. Bleeding. <laughs> There's four. Mm. <laughs> I lead a charmed life. Motor's out. Yeah. All right, so what we've got here is this is the motor and encoder and brake and all that. Okay, everything from here up is like motor, encoder, and brake. And this is the same as the other two axes. And it's bigger than the motors for three, four, and, or four, five, and six. So one, two, and three use big motors. But what's different is below this plate, we've got all this, which has got to be a planetary gear drive. It's got to be. I, because it's, it's, heavy it's all it is. on the same axis. Yeah. Big manly gear down here, little tiny motor up here. So that's got to be a planetary gear drive and it's gonna be big fun to take apart. So that's gonna be a cool video. 
You guys stay tuned on that one because uh, there's a good look at it. That thing weighs every bit of 150 pounds. <laughs> And I'm, I'm going to pick it up with a forklift, in fact, to put it away. Just going to say, I ain't picking it up. Yeah, I, I ain't moving that again. 